Hey YouTube, in this video I want to talk about are fire extinguishers a forgotten prep? Stick around. As preppers, I see many many videos on how to start fires. People have several different fire kits. Uh, Altoid tin fire kits, uh, all kind of little uh, uh, fire kits and prescription bottles, uh, quick tinder, uh, cotton balls with Vaseline, ferro rods, uh, you know, hand sanitizer, all different kind of ways to make fire. But I think that's all great. We need fire, but what if fire threatens your life? What do you have around your house? How many fire extinguishers do you have? I'm throwing this out there right now that I am not a fire extinguisher expert by any means. I'm actually doing this video to maybe learn a little bit more about it. I know there's ABC uh, for like trash and uh, chemical uh, or liquids and then uh, electrical uh, different uh, fire extinguishers that uh, are for certain types of fires uh, and combination extinguishers and I think the life expectancy of a life extinguisher is two to five years and I actually have uh, the two fire extinguishers here uh, the one on the far right the kitty uh, I've I've had that I think at least three years and there is a <clears throat> that needle is is in between the recharge in the middle so I don't think it's completely dead yet the one in the middle was left here uh, in the garage where I live now and uh, I have uh, <clears throat> that one is pegged in the middle it doesn't say recharge and then this little aerosol can actually it's a non um, non rechargeable um, air power air powered I can't speak air powered fire extinguisher and there's a lot of mixed reviews on these guys with people opening them when they've had fires and they don't work and I think they only have a certain shelf life there's probably a expiration date on that can somewhere and I haven't even looked at it but I'm sure it's expired and uh, and I like this because it's simple and you can just rip off that and there are different ones that have safety nozzles um, this one just has a push uh, down air like a regular aerosol can which I like uh, because I've read reviews where the safety tabs were broken on other ones when they shipped or whatever but anyway th this really isn't a video about fire extinguishers as much as how many do you have in your house? Uh, you know, is there one one on every floor of your home if you live on multiple floors? Uh, one in a garage if you have a garage. Uh, the kitchen obviously is a pretty popular area to have one. I just see so many videos on making fire and really not putting them out. And uh, you know, my last video, I think it was my last video I put up was uh, about the uh, riots here in Baltimore. What's the first thing that when uh, people are out of control, what's the first thing they do? They start fires, right? Burn cars, uh, burn buildings. So if you're in that area where fires are breaking out, certainly would be a nice addition to have in your preps. So this is something that I'm focusing on in the next couple weeks. If you're going to be prepared, I think we just needed to talk about fire extinguishers and you know maybe check the ones that you have around your house uh, check the check the valves on them and uh, just make sure that if they need to be recharged or replaced that uh, might be a good idea to check them over and uh, this might be something that I need to start doing on a more regular basis maybe when we change the clocks and stuff you know changing batteries and smoke detectors and things like that we can start thinking about fire extinguishers as well anyway guys uh, Maybe not the most popular video uh, that I'll have in my YouTube playlist, but I think it's a pretty important one. 
and I hope that uh, if you're seeing this, if you don't own any fire extinguishers, you maybe think about getting some. And like me, the ones that you have, go through them and check to see if they're up to date, charged, and uh, and do a little bit of research on fire extinguishers. I mean, they, they can range, they can be pretty pricey. Uh, but, you know, in an SHTF situation, I'm not saying that if your house is totally in flames, but if you catch it early, you might be able to contain it at least. So any thoughts or maybe people that have a lot of experience in fire extinguishers, I've only used a fire extinguisher once and it was during a safety training program that I had at a company I used to work at. And uh, you know, not many people get to the chance to use a fire extinguisher and that, that was the only time I've ever operated one actually with a fire. And they had a little, uh, they had the fire department there and they did a controlled fire and let employees come in and do, you know, use the fire extinguishers. And I mean, you pull a pin and squeeze a trigger. It's not, you know, it's not rocket science, but it was cool to be able to use it and uh, swipe it side to side to see and get to the base of the fire and see how quickly it went out. So, all right, I just figured I'd throw this out there. As always, if you're not in the preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks for listening to me ramble, guys. Mm -hmm.